Oh my god! Time for a new vlog. How the fuck are we doing tonight, guys? Uh, once again, it is fairly late, but I had a lot of shit I had to do today. Not to mention yesterday was no vlog because, well, I was eating chocolate. <laughs> Anyways, I just uploaded my uh, 99 Dungeoneering Party video. Whoop! Annotation is over there to it. Um, also, new real life video tomorrow, and I'll be making my 99 Bung Fung Dungeoneering Guide thingamabob. So, yeah, it's going to be good. Anyways, um, as for uh, last night, really didn't flinch that much. I uh, was only on the computer for like maybe like 20 minutes to do Sunday's checkpoints. I uh, was going to do a vlog, but then I kind of wanted to uh, eat more chocolate. And I was playing fucking uh, charades with some family members. That game may sound very fucking gay to play, but to let you guys know, Nightmare RH is a fucking master at that game. <laughs> if you ever play that game with me and if you're on my team, you will win. If you're against me, you will lose and I will make fun of you. Ah, but anyways, yeah, so my, dun uh, my fletching experience has gone up. Going to watch, um... A movie tonight I actually found on Netflix. It's called fucking... Where the hell are you? It's called, uh... The Canyon. Apparently it's about these people, uh... To this wife, or rather, uh... Uh... Damn it, um... Uh, I can't think of the guy. They're, they're about to get married. Uh, fiancé and, uh... Damn it, I can't think of the other one. Anyways, they're about to get married, so they go... They want to go to this, uh... Grand Canyon to go on a little, you know, tour of it. And they take this uh, guide, but the guide that they go with is an alcoholic, and he lures them in there and gets them lost. And he also gets bit by a snake, so he kind of dies. So the movie is just about them getting lost in the Grand Canyon, pretty much. It looks interesting, even though it might suck. Oh well, it's you know doesn't bother me. Uh, then that's pretty much about it. So I'll be on RuneScape for about an hour, uh, actually a couple hours tonight. And, yeah. Alright, guys, but, uh, Jagex has actually updated some shit and changed some shit in the past, like, week. I don't think I've really talked about them so much, but I am going to be. Firstly, is that when you die in the wild, I think I already talked about this, you spawn in Edgeville now. That is, you know, pretty good, because then you don't have to, uh, well, like, run from Lumbridge to Edgeville. And I guess it helps out some people because if they die but they get the kill, then they can run have enough time to run back and get the loot and shit. Um, so that's one thing they updated. One thing about the uh, protect item update is that a friend of mine, like I said, told me that you can choose any item. But so I made the video, but my friend was a uh, bung wipe, and he left out the detail that uh, you don't get to choose the item; it goes by the GE price. So therefore, if I were to, like, it doesn't go by the high LP value anymore. It goes by the standard GE price, which which is why D-Claws now protects over a dickhead full helm, a, you know, DH full helm. So it basically goes by GE price. So if you go out in the wild with an AGS, Claws, and some other spec weapon that is a lot, and then, like, full DH, you really won't have to worry. I mean... Or you could go out there in fucking full DH and die, and you keep your full DH. So, I mean, it's it's actually pretty cool, but then, like I said before in a previous vlog, it kind of sucks for some people, because it's a little harder to get a loot, I guess. But then again, it's supposed to be hard to PK good shit. You know, it's supposed to be hard. Um, Weather well, should have the update. They, they updated quite a few stuff. Uh... I thought, I'm looking at a developer's blog right now. I could have sworn they updated something about Ankus. Because um, I remember uh, just going down there to see if they made any changes to the Anku layer. And uh, Ankus actually look somewhat different now. They actually look more kind of like a little ghostly. Well, not really ghostly. They are like, they're, they're humanoids, I guess you call them. But they're just kind of a little more cooler looking than when I used to kill them like two and a half years ago. Uh, I don't really see any other updates here. But they probably most likely will be doing an update soon. Probably most likely tomorrow, like I said. Or rather, yeah, tomorrow's Tuesday. So uh, I'm, I'm kind of like a little 
that I don't know why, but today really feels like a fucking, like, Thursday for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Um, but otherwise, that's pretty much about it for uh, updates. Uh, once again, I'm hating the new high scores update. I just, I hate it. Because whenever I have to look on my name, it just, it, it doesn't look right, damn it. But, oh, tilly shit. Uh, yeah. So, as for tonight, I'm going to be pretty much uh, just fletching, like I said. Uh, may do some agility, just because I'm relatively close to a level for agility. I think I'm like, I think, uh, well, actually, no, I'm not close. I'm like 160k away. But that's like maybe three hours. Holy fuck. That's about like near three hours. Um, so, really depends. I mean, if you guys see me at the agility place at 8 Patrol, then I'm there. If not, then I'm elsewhere fletching and stuff. But otherwise, right now I want to go to my email address and we have some happy hoopa hoopa questions from you motherfuckers. Ask them at shaku.com and actually to me, use. Otherwise, well, oh yes, and one last thing, the Easter event. That's what I wanted to also talk about. Uh, if you guys haven't already done so, you could do the Easter event because it's going to go bye-bye soon. Even though, you know, it's, it's one of those things that sometimes people forget to do, but then you have to wait like a whole year to get an Easter event item or an Easter event emote. Kinda sucks. Ass! I'm not going to you use, otherwise the Easter Bunny will kick your ass. First, who have a question. What do you do if you got banned on RuneScape? Question mark. Uh, I'm never going to get banned on RuneScape because I don't violate the terms of service. That's the simplest way I can put it to you guys. If I went around, but like, you know, violating the terms of service, then I would kind of be nervous, but I don't do that. I'm just an average flush. Next question. RS username, pink to stink. <laughs> pink to stink. That is an awesome fucking username. If you guys don't know what that means, it means when you take it out of one hole and stick it into the other hole. Uh, anyways, RS question. Do you like the current um, Iron Maiden or do you prefer the old Iron Maiden? Question mark. Um, I haven't really listened to any of Iron Maiden's newer shit, um, except around maybe 2005-ish, but I really do like all their older stuff that goes unrecognized, and it, it does happen with bands, like all Metallica's older shit is now really going unrecognized, every station plays their newer shit, even the fucking music channel plays all their newer shit rather than the older shit, so uh, I really do like all the older shit, wow, it's... It's going on about, like, 20 years now. Like, over, like, 20, 30 years that their music has really been around. That's fucking a long-ass time. So I prefer older shit. But otherwise, guys, if you got anything for me, you can leave me a nasty, dirty little comment. I'll see you happy motherfuckers tomorrow. Bye!